Double uploads today. What? What's going on? What's up, guys? Aster here, and we are here for another live in the OU tier. Uh, that's right, it's the second upload today. It's been a while since I've uh, done two uploads in one day, so this is actually uh, pretty insane for me, anyway. I don't know if you guys have noticed. But uh, yeah, we're going to be using a team that our friend Jar made for us after we had that best of five that you guys may or may not have watched earlier. If you didn't check it out yet, definitely go back uh, one video and go check that out. It's really. Uh, <laughs> to Haxi, to say the least. But, uh, yeah, now we got a, a team. It's really cool. It's centered around Mega, uh, Mega Glalie, which is actually really good in the OU tier right now. Scarf Keldeo, which a lot of people don't expect. Uh, a little bit of a stall breaker. Uh, Gliscor is kind of a stally Gliscor as well at the same time. Uh, we've got a Tailwind uh, Tornadus T, which is, uh, not Tornadus T, excuse me, regular Tornadus, which is really, really good prankster, uh, able to increase the speed for uh, the likes of Clefable, which can also put in some work, uh, and mostly Mega Glalie, of course. And then we have a defensive uh, Leech Seeding Ferrothorn, so let's try to get some games right here. Uh, we haven't been doing all too well lately, so hopefully we'll be able to turn it around this game. Uh, I thought I saw Eric's team for a second from one of his leagues. I uh, saw Tapu Koko and Araquanid, but uh, all right, let's get into this. Let's see what we got here. Uh, we got a Salazzle, which is very, very threatening turn one. Uh, Tapu Koko could lead, but I'm just going to lead actually with Gliscor right... Uh, not with Gliscor, excuse me, with Keldeo right here. Tapu Koko does lead. I'm going directly out into my Gliscor. I do not want this thing Volt switching on me. And we are going to th throw out a Toxic afterwards and see what we can do there. We can uh, Toxic the Araquanid. It's not too big a deal. He actually goes for a Calm Mind. I don't know if he has HP Ice. He very m uh, well could. Uh, I'm going to play it safe here and go out into Ferrothorn. I do not want to catch an HP Ice from this thing. He goes for a Dazzling Gleam, though. That doesn't do too much. We're fine. He goes. He gets the, uh, the little bit of Life Orb recoil there. And we are going to go for a Leech Seed. He's actually got HP Fire. Okay, wow. Uh, really caught me off guard there. Uh, let's go into... Uh, we could go back into Gliscor, realistically. We could also go into Clefable and set up Rocks. I uh, got a couple of plays here. Uh, eventually, Keldeo is going to be able to take this thing out even after a few Calm Mines, so I'm going to go out into Clefable. Uh, plus one Thunderbolt shouldn't do the job in theory, so let's go for uh, Stealth Rocks right here. And uh, HP Fire, interesting. So you're still completely walled out by uh, Alolan Marowak. Very, very interesting concept. He's going to go into Metagross right there. Good play. Uh, I'm just going to go directly into Gliscor. I know he can Ice Punch, but I don't think he's going to on, on turn one. Uh, as he does go for the Meteor Mash right away. Does he get the attack raise? He does. That's very problematic. Uh, because now even if I go into Keldeo, I need to burn this thing immediately. So that's that's quite an issue. Uh, let's go into Keldeo. Let's see if he has the Ice Punch. As he reveals to a B Zen Headbutt. Okay, wow. Uh, this guy's making plays. Not even I can see coming. Alright. Um, <laughs> let's go into Tornadus. We're going to have to set up the Tailwind for Gliscor to take this thing out with uh, an Earthquake into Glalie's Earthquake. And then maybe we might be able to do something with Glalie. We'll see, but uh, we'll go for the Tailwind right here. As my opponent goes for the Meteor Mash, crits me, uh, and he's able to knock me out. And now we'll go into Gliscor, and we will click Earthquake. I'm tempted to click Toxic, predicting the uh, the Landorus, but I'm not going to make that play. Uh, we're just going to go for the EQ right here, weaken this thing. Uh, I don't know if it's in range of Glalie's EQ. I don't think it is. Uh, so what we'll do is <laughs> we're getting completely swept right now. Uh, I'm going to go out into Clefable, and we're going to go for a Flamethrower first. Uh, as he goes for a bullet punch, it's not able to take me out. Uh, and the bad thing here is that I don't think an ice shard is going to knock him out either. So that's going to be GG right away. Uh, clean sweep with Metagross. Unfortunately, game one, we'll uh, forfeit that one and we'll move on to the next one. So got to watch out for Calm Mind, Hidden Power, Fire, Tapu Koko, because apparently that's a thing. Uh, not able to hit a little in Marowak. Beautiful. All right, let's go. Uh, let's see what we got here as a matchup. I'm really liking Tornadus this game. Uh, I'm really liking the way it looks, uh, what it can do. So let's lead off with uh, something that doesn't lose to everything on his team. That would be Keldeo. I can scold right away and try to get a burn. That's always nice. Uh, the only thing I can't burn, of course, is Tapu Fini, so I might have to predict around that a little bit, but we'll manage. Uh, in fact, I could I could also lead Clefable. It's not a terrible lead. I just don't want him leading with a little in Marowak, thinking that he can take on uh, my walls, uh, such as Clefable and Ferrothorn. So let's do that. Uh, let's lead off with Keldeo, as he does lead off with his little in Marowak. Beautiful. All right, now I really want to predict the switch out into Tapu Fini, uh, which is exactly what I'm going to do, and I'm going to go out into Clefable. As he does switch into Fini, beautiful, and we are going to go straight for the Stealth Rocks as another Calm Mind. Okay, great, <laughs> awesome. Uh, yet another thing that we can't really deal with. Let's uh, let's throw out a Moon Blast, try to lower his special attack. He's just going to keep Calm Minding. Uh, we don't have any powerful physical attackers that can take this thing down. That's an issue. Uh, I'm going to... 
go into actually i'm gonna throw out another moon blast as he subs up great all right um i'm assuming he has a water move plus a uh uh a fairy move probably he's gonna go for moon blast that's gonna do a lot he's gonna get a special attack drop on us meaning that we won't be able to break his sub unfortunately how the hell am i gonna kill this thing um i don't think you can really touch ferrothorn to be honest and i think gyroball might be able to break the sub at this point so let's actually just go straight out into uh pharaoh here as he does go for the moon blast it's able to do 19 percent to us which is nothing at all and we will go for the gyro ball right here see what he wants to do if he has hp fire on this thing then kudos um <laughs> there's the moon blast special attack drop doesn't matter of course we are going to go for the gyro ball i don't know if another one's going to take out his sub especially if he's not speed invested let's see as uh, it is able to break his sub awesome okay so we just keep going for gyro ball here we don't even care if his own ferrothorn comes in uh we're gonna start setting up some spikes actually on this man get his team really weakened now that we know what kind of set his uh his tapu finny is uh we gotta put pressure on it immediately if it comes in again uh we're gonna go for another layer of spikes uh his hazard removal consists of tapu finny so if it's uh if it's four attacks with sub call mind then uh sorry two attacks with sub call mind then he's never getting rid of all of these hazards they're detrimental to me but only to a certain extent so i'm not too worried about it we're just gonna go for our last layer here as he does the same and now we're gonna switch out into our gliscor because uh it doesn't really change anything uh, in fact i'm gonna go for a um uh no let's go into gliscor it's fine as he's going to go for the leech seed which is what i was expecting but i really uh i couldn't make the play <laughs> um Let's see. Let's go into Clefable here. We do have the flamethrower for this thing. Uh, he's going to go for the power whip. That is not going to be able to take us out. Beautiful. And uh, I'm just going to go straight for flamethrower. If he's got gyro ball, he's going to probably click it right here. So, um, Tapu Vinny also doesn't have any boosts on it. So, Moonblast is still going to be doing a good amount of damage. As he brings in his Tapu Vinny on all these layers of hazards. And we are going to go for the Moonblast uh, on his first um, Calm Mind. He'll probably be able to get up a sub right here. Which is why I want to go... Actually, no, he can't get up a sub. Because he's currently... Uh, yeah, he can't do it. He can't get up a sub. Because of uh, his HP at the moment. So, we're going to go for another Moonblast. And I'm assuming he's just going to attack us here. Um, Glalie, I think, can come in and revenge this with an Earthquake anyway. So, I'm just going to Moonblast. He's going to take us out with his. That's fine. I'm pretty sure that Glalie can do the job. Uh, only thing is that I take a lot of damage. I wonder if Gliscor can. I doubt it. Uh, maybe Tornadus with uh, Grass Knot. We have Grass Knot on it. Let's let's check it out. Let's just get rid of this blue here. Um, Tapu Finny uh, with max HP. Let's see how much Clefable was doing to it. Like a standard Clef set with no uh, special attack investment. So that seems about right with a plus one spadef. So he's probably not invested at all. Yeah. And um, let's see Tornadus. Uh, special attacker grass knot at plus two spadef uh, is actually doing absolutely nothing hurricane can kill him but i think glalie is my better play if he's max defense bold then um let's see i just want to see glalie mega mega glalie uh earthquake give me earthquake where's earthquake earthquake's only doing 19 to 23 as well wow okay um, this thing is super bulky. It's crazy. I have nothing to take it out in one hit. Except for Tornadus. We have to land a Hurricane, guys. That's the only way we're, we're knocking this thing out, is if we land a Hurricane. It's Life Orb, some active special attack. We do land it. Awesome. Tapu Fini goes down. And that is a big, big problem dealt with. So, awesome. Um, if Feramosa comes out, I think I'm just gonna go into, um, maybe into Ferrothorn. I might even Tailwind. I'm not sure yet. Because he's probably gonna go for the Ice Beam. Absol chooses to come out. Okay, that's fine. Um, we're going to sack off our Ferrothorn now, as that doesn't really do anything for the rest of the game. As he's going to go for the knockoff. Beautiful. He's going to get rid of our item, but at the same time, he's going to lose a little bit of health in the process. Uh, and we do have a Scarfed Keldeo ready to go. Uh, I could just click Secret Sword. Scald, I think, is the better play because he does have the... Uh... Well, actually, I don't know. Because um, this thing takes 50 when it comes in. <laughs> So, yeah, let's go to Keldeon. Let's click uh, Secret Sword right here. And I don't think he's going to want to switch on this. There we go. We are able to knock out the Absol. He doesn't even sucker punch me, which is amazing. And with rocks up, this is just awesome. Um, I maybe just gave Marowak a chance to come in and set up rocks. But, I mean, it should be okay. I'm going to go into Gliscor right here. 
And uh, we're gonna Earthquake on the following turn, try to get some chip damage off on something. Fermos is not gonna appreciate it with all the hazards up. He's just gonna go for Flare Blitz, actually, uh, which is awesome because that means he doesn't get up rocks. And we can just go for an Earthquake here and knock out this Marowak. Awesome. And I'm assuming Pheromos is gonna come in here uh, to try to go for an Ice Beam. Uh, the thing is, I have to switch out on Pheromosa. I can't let it get a speed boost. Okay, he goes into F Garchomp instead. Alright. Um, I mean, I have Ice Shard online. I have, uh, Tailwind. I have Scarf Keldeo with Icy Wind. So, I don't really understand this play completely. What's my play here? Um, I think I just Toxic. He goes for the Outrage. That's fine. I think I can take this thing out with, uh, with Ice Shard from here. Let's see if it's, uh, Garchomp with... Like, let's say for some reason it's a it's a bulky chomp. So tank chomp versus Glalie's ice shard. Okay, that can definitely take it. Uh, however, if it doesn't have all this investment and it's not impish, if it's jolly, then uh, ice shard is knocking it out from that range. So let's go into Glalie and let's click ice shard right here. As we are able to knock out the Garchomp, beautiful. Uh, and he, my opponent forfeits, so that's gonna be the game right there. Luckily, we are able to pick that one up. Let me actually just move this out of the way so I can see what kind of time I'm at. And, uh, yeah, it's not going too bad. I mean, we lost a game, but, uh, there was nothing I could do about that game. It was really, really bad. Uh, great, it's a horrible matchup for me. Uh, Tornadus has Grass Knot, which is really nice for Gastrodon. Uh, gotta keep that in mind. Uh, Hazards are going to be very, very important here. I think that leading off with, uh, Keldeo is my correct lead because of the Marowak to scare it out once again and I really want to go for Secret Sword here uh, predicting either the Muck or the Gastrodon to come in uh, but I think my better play is actually just to switch out directly into Clefable uh, as he goes out into his Chansey beautiful okay so let's get a Brox let's see what he does if he goes into uh, Skarmory I can hit that thing with a flamethrower he chooses to go into Muck instead which is fantastic we will go into Ferrothorn on this and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, double out into my Tornadus. It's a risky play, but it keeps his Skarmory from defogging. And that's the important thing. Alternatively, I could go into Keldeo to ha make that happen. Uh, but I think Tornadus is just the better play. I don't think he's going to stay in on my Ferrothorn and let me get up a free layer of spikes. Realistically. I think Skarmory is always the play. No matter what. Um, he could also go into Marowak, I guess, because he resists my two stabs. Uh, but Marowak's not going to appreciate a, a hurricane either way, so that should be fine. Uh, come on, Baron Silva. What are you thinking about? Let's start the timer on our opponent. Probably should have gotten some water before starting this. That would have been smart. But no, I like the team. It's, uh, it's definitely anti-meta. It, uh... It can handle the majority of the metagame right now. So, there's just a couple of things that it struggles with. Uh, Tapu Lele. <laughs> like, Life Orb Tapu Lele destroys this team. Um, there's a couple of other things. That thing needs to go. I think of all the things that are still in this tier, Tapu Lele absolutely needs to go. Because that thing can be run Scarf, Specs, Life Orb, like, and, and any one of its sets is a menace. All of them. <laughs> it's... It's worse than Greninja. If, Gre if Greninja deserves to be banned, Tapu Lele deserves to be banned even more. Because that thing is... It doesn't even need uh, a boosting item for its special attack. It, it, you can literally literally carry a scarf with it, make it uh, timid, and it still hits like a... Tri it still hits way harder than Greninja ever hit. So, you know, like, its, it's speed is not an issue because of... It, it's got a decent speed tier, honestly. With 95, able to run a scarf, that's really, really good. So, curious to see what my opponent's going to do. He's taking quite a bit of time deciding on this play. Um, I don't know if he, like, predicts me to switch out or anything, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> not sure, not sure. What's good is that if I, if I make Skarmory take one hit, it can no longer switch into return, like, t two returns, basically. I really wish I had Freeze Dry right about now on Glalie, but it's fine. Uh, we're down to 60 seconds left. Uh, I don't know what my opponent's doing, but I'm not going to waste any more of your time, guys, trying to commentate over this. I'm just going to pause it, and we'll be right back. And as I say that, he makes a play into Skarmory, which is what I predicted. We are now going to go out into Tornadus, and I'm not even hesitating. I don't care if he switches out into Chansey. I'm just going for the Heat Wave. Uh, it's going to do a decent amount of damage, and it's actually going to knock out the Skarm, so our hazards are here to stay. Now, if I can continue to Spike Stack him, that would be phenomenal. 
Uh, Chansey is going to come out, which means it's going to allow me to spike stack right here. I'm going to go back into Ferrothorn. Even if he gets up his rocks, it's not a big deal. He goes for Wish. That's cool. We're going to go for a spike, uh, regardless of what he does. He goes into Marowak to gain the Wish. That's fine. And uh, I'm assuming this thing is his rocker, actually. We're going to go into Gliscor hard, because he no longer has a very good switch into uh, to Gliscor at all on his team. Uh, this uh, Alolan Muck will drop to two Earthquakes. Uh, Marowak will probably drop to two as well. Uh, depending on its spread uh, as he goes for shadow bone that's not able to do enough to us and my opponent uh, f my opponent forfeits so that's gonna finish that one off we'll get another one uh, let's see if we can go like four three and one four and one uh, i think that would be decent for the episode uh let me know what you guys think of the team if you uh if you think it's any good what you think you can we can do uh to improve it that's very important um we're going to lead off here i'm gonna leave with keldeo again because I expect Genesec leading, yep, and uh, we're just going to throw out a Scald, honestly. We're faster than this, we're faster than Scar variants, uh, we're going to get a, a pretty big head off, he's going to go for U-turn, that's a boosted U-turn, it did absolutely nothing, because we do resist that, he knows we're Scarf now, his Genesect is at half, which is amazing, his top Layla comes in, this is an issue, uh, I want to pivot into Clefable first, to see if he goes for the Focus Blast, as he goes for the Psychic straight away, okay, not taking into account that there's a Ferrothorn right here, alright, um, so we lose that, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a layer of spikes because I think it's rather important. He's gonna go into Genesect. I can see the flamethrower coming from a mile away. Uh, we are going to go hard into Gliscor because we're able to wall this thing on the special side pretty well. Uh, that only does 37, but he does get the burn, of course. The 10% burn. Lovely. Uh, and we're gonna go for a... I'm gonna go for a Roost first uh, to Roost off this damage. And uh, then I'm gonna go for a Toxic, expecting him to switch out. Because he's not gaining anything from being in here. He's going to go out into Tapu Lele. There we go. We are going to Toxic this thing, wearing it down. Luckily, we do land. Uh, and I'm going to switch out into Ferrothorn now. Uh, actually, do I need this anymore now that it's burned? It's not bad for Toxicking a couple of his other members. Uh, it's just kind of setup fodder at this point for Gyarados, though, if it is sub. Which is a little bit annoying. So I'm going to go for Roost, see what he does. He just goes for another Psychic. He doesn't care. Uh, we're going to go back into Ferrothorn, and we are going to go for a Leech Seed right here. As he goes for Psychic, not doing too, too much. We are going to miss the Leech Seed, of course, because why wouldn't we? Uh, and we're just going to go for another one. He's going to go for another Psychic, and uh, we're going to miss another Leech Seed. So, yep. Uh, we're going to go for Protect, as he's going to probably go for another Psychic. And I don't think his Psychic knocks me out now. I could be wrong. Oh, never mind. He's just going to drop the Poison. Cool. Uh, I can see, um, not this coming in, wasn't expecting that, uh, I'm gonna go for Protect, just to see what he does, he could be Calm Mind, but, I mean, that's, that's what I gotta live with, as, uh, he's gonna go for the Z-Move, uh, the Gigavolt Havoc, awesome, alright, so, uh, he hits us through Sub, actually, and how much did that do, 10%? Uh, Ferrothorn couldn't fully protect itself, okay, so I guess it halves the damage, which is interesting. Let's go for a Leech Seed here, he goes for the Wild Charge, alright. Um, I do have a Scarf Keldeo, which can pretty much clean up, actually. I just need to weaken the Gyarados a tiny bit. Does Tapu Koko drop to this? Tapu Koko versus Keldeo. Choice Scarf, Scald, not enough. Hydro Pump, yes. Let's go for it. We do land, luckily, and we are able to knock out the Tapu Koko. And we still have a very, very important threat in the back, and that is Tornadus. So, I don't know if he's going to see that coming. I'm going to go hard here into... Uh, do I go into Torn? Yeah, I'm going to go into Torn. As he's probably going to go for the DD. There it is. We are going to go for the Tailwind right now. Uh, he's probably going to attack us, because that's the uh, the immediate like reaction, is to attack something that's threatening to you. And uh, we are going to drop to the Waterfall. But, now Keldeo comes out. Threatens this thing with a secret sword. I could totally see him going into Landorus, though. That's the thing. I really, really want to predict that right now. And pull a double into Glalie. And then just go for a return. Because if I can burn this thing on the skull, it's no longer a threat to me. Let's, uh, let's do that. Let's go into Glalie. As he's going to just go for Earthquake. Wow. Alright, so... No concern for his uh, for his Gyarados right there at all. I'm going to go back into uh, Keldeo as he goes for a Waterfall. Uh, and I'm just going to go for Secret Sword now. I don't know why you would make that play, but all right. Uh, and we're almost going to knock out the Gyarados. I guess that's why he made it. He knew he was bulky enough to take it. But 
We're just gonna go for the ice shard now. Uh, unless we crit it, we are definitely not knocking this thing out with an ice shard. No way. Look at that, 10%. Absolutely nothing. And uh, that is gonna be the game, unfortunately, because my opponent disregarded the fact that I had a Ferrothorn a couple of times and just kept going for uh, for Psychic. All right, we get to Ash's, uh, Red's team, excuse me. Rival Red. Um, let's see how well I can do with the team. I'm going to lead off here with Glalie. Because Glalie speed ties this, actually. And if he's Charizard Y, I have a chance to knock him out. So let's go for the return. Uh, it is a speed tie, of course, so I'm, I'm banking on the speed tie win, guys. That's, that's exactly what I'm doing. And we get it, and we are able to knock out the Charizard. Beautiful. There goes that. And uh, now his Venusaur is... I, I mean, I guess it's kind of a threat. Not really, unless it sets up a growth. Uh, but we know it's not Mega, so that's, that's something. Uh, he just wasted his Mega uh, completely. I'm assuming he has, like, probably... He probably has Gigavolt Havoc on Pikachu, I would assume. Let's see. That thing actually 6 0 your team. Yeah, sure it did. Uh, I have a Scarf Keldeo and a Spadef Gliscor, but all right. Um, Venusaur. Uh, I can see the HP Fire coming my way. I'm going to go to Gliscor as uh, he's probably going to go. Okay, he goes for the Sleep Powder. In s okay. Um, not sure why, but we're going to go for the Earthquake here. Goes for the Giga Drain. It is quite powerful, uh, but he is going to take some damage there. And we are going to go out into... Ferrothorn, I'm going to bait the HP Fire on the following turn. Uh, and then we are going to go into Tornadus, uh, I think, on the HP Fire. Uh, and then threaten this thing out with a Hurricane, I think. Either that or I can just stay in and try to get up a spike. That's what we're going to do. Alright, that's fine. He knocks us out, but he didn't gain any health back, so we are going to go into Tornadus. And we're going to go for a Hurricane. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's the play, for sure. <clears throat> He doesn't know what set I am. I could very easily be a physical set with acrobatics, superpower, so he has to watch out for this. Um, he has a pretty good play in Snorlax. That's, like, really his only play right now. Unless I were to miss uh, a Hurricane right here. I mean, he could stay in and just sack off his Venusaur, but uh, he is going to choose to go out into Snorlax. Great play. I mean, I would have missed the Hurricane, so in retrospect, maybe not. A great play, but uh, we're going to go out into Clefable here. If he starts setting up curses, that could be bad, but all right, there it is. How do I deal with that? I guess I super fang him down. Yeah, I guess that's the play. Let's go for Stealth Rocks and get him up as he does go for another curse. That's fine. We're going to start moon blasting this thing. Uh, he is slower than us now, of course, and uh, going to do almost nothing to him. <laughs> Incredible. Um, how do I... How do I deal with this? How much is Grass not doing to Snorlax? Snorlax from uh, Tornadus Special Attacker. Focus Blast would normally do a lot. Hurricane still does quite a bit, actually. So if I can get a Super Fang off, that would be great. I'm assuming uh, Hyd like Keldeo's Hydro Pump does... Uh, no, probably not as much as, as Hurricane, actually. Let's go into Gliscor. Let's see if he keeps setting up. He chooses to go for Body Slam. That's not great because I'm still asleep. Uh, I'm going to attempt to go for the Toxic right here as he's going to set up another Curse. Okay, this could be bad for him because I'm going to go for Toxic here. Uh, and if he chooses to go for another Curse on the following turn and get greedy. Uh, but he doesn't. He just goes for Body Slam. Good play. Alright, how do we deal with this? Um, Alright, we go to Glalie. We Super Fang him. And we get him down to half. And, uh, yeah, then we'll figure it out from there. He's going to go for Body Slam. I think I need to confuse him <laughs> with Hurricane. Let's see. Let's go for the Hurricane. And uh, hopefully we connect this time, because if we would have connected the last time, the last one, he wouldn't have been able to set up all those curses. Uh, as, as you can see right there, 33%. He does get confused as he hit himself. He does. Awesome. How much does Grass not do? 23? Okay, we're going for that. And this is going to uh, to die right here. Beautiful. All right, we're able to deal with the Snorlax. Whew! That was close. <laughs> um, Pikachu looking like a threat, actually. <laughs> no way. Um, let's see. Pikachu with a Heat Wave from you. How much is it doing? Heat Wave. Heat Wave does 107. <laughs> okay. In, cl in, clums, in comes Blastoise. 
Bulky Spinner takes 58 to 69. Um, so I am just gonna Grass Knot here, as he's gonna go for Protect, okay, not, not sure why, but okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go for another Grass Knot, no reason not to. He might want to try to wear me down to, uh, Life Orb, but if Venusaur comes in, I'm not clicking Hurricane anymore, I'm clicking, um, Heat Wave. Let's see if he Scalds here. He goes for Toxic instead, okay, so he's a Toxic Stall set. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna stay in, because I have no reason to switch out on this. I'm gonna force him into Protecting. And then we're actually going to go for the Hurricane. I am going to risk it on this thing, because if I can catch the uh, Venusaur on the Switch, then I can potentially knock that thing out. Um, as he's going to Protect again, and I'm going to, of course, miss Hurricane, because why wouldn't I? Uh, let's go into Clef, because he can't Toxic. Um, well, he can Toxic me, but I'm Magic Guard, so it's fine. Missed two Hurricanes so far. Not great. One a Speed Tie at the beginning, which is cool, but that's about it. Uh, going to go for Moonblast here. If he brings in his Venusaur, then cool whatever um not much i can do about that hopefully i'll get a special attack drop and i'm able to switch out into keldeo he actually goes for toxic um not sure why uh, as i'm just gonna moon blast again he's probably gonna protect again because it's a it's a toxic protect blastoise uh, i'm not taking any damage so it's fine and i'm actually gonna go for the flamethrower here predicting his venusaur to come in like i can't see him wanting uh maybe you know what, if I get rid of this, then... Yeah, let's go for another Moonblast. He does switch into Venusaur, unfortunately. Can we get the special attack drop? No, we cannot. But I am going to go for Flamethrower right here, as he's probably just going to Sludge Bomb. Uh, he actually goes for Giga Drain, predicting my Keldeo. And he's going to take Life Orb plus Flamethrower, which is going to get him down pretty low. And now we're going to go into Keldeo, uh, predicting him to go for the Sludge Bomb. And then we will probably just Secret Sword on the following turn. I'm thinking. Um... We'll see. As he goes for a Sludge Bomb, is he able to poison us? He is not, and he does take that extra hit of Life Orb, which puts him in range of Scald. Uh, I can also just click Secret Sword. The problem is I do not want Espeon coming in for free. So let's go for the... Yeah, let's go for the Scald. He's actually going to switch out into his Pikachu, so that doesn't make a lot of sense to me because his Venusaur is dead anyway <laughs> to rocks. Uh, so unless he's thinking of spinning with his Blastoise, which would lose him a turn essentially, uh, then he's not going anywhere. Like, let's just see Blastoise. How much did we do to him before with, uh, with Grass Knot? Uh, before he protected. We did 62%. So yeah, he's around that. Let's see Keldeo. Um, Choice Scarf. Scald, not enough at all. Not even close. Uh, but this is going to allow me to go back into Clefable here. And he's going to go for a Protect, again, for no reason. Um, and I think I'm just going to Moonblast here at this point. He might Protect again, which is fine. I could also Soft Boil, but it, it's cool. I'm gaining Leftovers Recovery, so it's all good. Uh, he's probably going to Spin here, if I'm not mistaken. He's just giving me Recovery, so it's all good. He's going to go for the Rapid Spin. There it is. And we are going to go for the Moonblast. He's going to get the special attack drop. I'm going to go for another Moonblast because we did see before that it did do, I think, enough damage to Venusaur. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, where is it? Where is our Moonblast on Venusaur? He's going to take a... Uh, okay, we're going to knock out the Blastoise there, which is nice. Uh, if his Venusaur attacks me, he knocks himself out. So that's good. Uh, in comes Espeon. Now, this is the real problem because if this thing starts Calm Minding, I could be in trouble. Um... How much? Okay, we don't need to see that anymore. It doesn't matter. Let's go. You know what? I'm going to go directly into Tornadus. Because I can't risk him call mining. He's going to go for Psychic, actually. Okay. Which tells me that he probably does not have anything to stop me from sweeping him with Keldeo. So let's go for the Moonblast. Uh, he goes for another Psychic. It's not able to take us out. And Moonblast should put him in range of Scald. Uh, Scald is much stronger, obviously. Um... Maybe I might need Hydro Pump. Hold on. Espeon. Uh, Choice Specs versus Clefable. Clefable. Moonblast should be doing 37 to 44. It only did 38, so we got an absolute low roll, but he's not invested. So let's check out Keldeo, Choice Scarf, Scald. Not enough. Hydro Pump is the move to click. Unfortunately, uh, we're going to go for Moonblast. He's actually going to go for Sunny Day uh, and reduce the power of my water moves, but it doesn't matter now. Because I'm just going to spam Moonblast. 
And, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, man. Hold on. I just realized he made his Venusaur fast. Actually, it doesn't matter. He dies to one life orb hit, right? So, I mean, he should, in theory. Let's go for the Flamethrower, because it's stronger than before. As he's going to go for the Giga Drain. He's going... Ah, he's going to gain back health first. Yep. That makes sense. However, however, let's... Hold on. I need a calculator right now. We're going to see this before it happens. 346 times 1.5 equals 519. Uh, if he's modest, he's 259 times 2. 518. Let's hope he's modest. He is modest, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there we go, and we are able to knock out the Venusaur, and that is going to be a GG. And uh, that is going to end the episode right there. So if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.